Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're going to play some more EO4 as Granada. Granada and Grandeur. Let's go pillaging and pilfering and murdering and stuff. It's going to be great. It's going to be glorious. It's uh, it's time to do it. I don't think there's any reason to wait. He doesn't have any forts mothballed. Argon's not going to help us. We could declare a conquest war using our subject's claim, which seems good. You can make the war goal Alto Alentejo, Piera Alta, or Tras Os Montes. So, uh, let's check fort level. We got one, two, and one. I'm going to make it Alentejo, Ale, Alto Alentejo, so that it's easier, I think, for me to get to it. Then again... No, yeah, we'll make it, we'll make it Alto Alentejo. <laughs> Let's do this. Nice, that's a good sign when they start on medium enthusiasm. Relative strength of the Alliance, they like, uh... Well, apparently I have I have medium enthusiasm as well. My subjects not so hot. This guy apparently spawned with negative stability. What's going on with you, buddy? Oh, you know why? It's, it's probably because you have uh, you know, martial law CE pending. It's me. Um, I should really probably ask the developer about that. Uh, developer of the mod. Hmm. All right, done. Sorted. Okay, so we're at war. Uh, whoa, 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 speed three for the war, please. Thank you, yes. Strongly encourage looting. We're gonna loot scare the crap out of these people. So, uh, discipline is gonna go down. We're gonna lose some siege ability. Might make it hard to get the faster sieges, but... We're gonna, we're gonna pilfer these guys. We're gonna shoot down their one ship, too. Now, for this war, we have plenty of loyalty to burn with the Greater Nobles. I was assessing their state power. They don't have much, just the one infantry. Uh, but I think we're going to go ahead and hire him. Offensive war support. We have no free picks. But for five loyalty, we can we can grab that, that unit. Prestige from land battles and recover army morale speed. I don't think they're going to really matter too much. But let's go ahead and we're going to spend five of their loyalty to get partial military support. And even though this is only a thousand manpower, I am just gonna spend it now. Here, we can get some stab. We go ahead and give them some some money. And if that if I can do it there, it means I can do it here too, since I keep them tied together. We'll do the exact same thing here. I just I was trying to spend some of my excess loyalty, but let's uh still take advantage of that decision whenever we can. So this one, you get 73 ducats for two loyalty, that's 36.5 ducats for loyalty, versus demanding support, which I can't check on right now. Yes, I can, sorry. I can't do the pretense of a loan thing again. When will that become available? Because these guys have a ton of cash. A thousand ducats. I recall in the past I was able to do that, that decision quite often. I was milking them for money like all the time. But... Maybe that's the point, is that you can do that much less often now. I'm not going to worry about it, though. We've got a little bit of a war chest. I think we'll be okay. We got our 233 leader. I am a little bit concerned that he's going to have a pretty strong military. He is behind me on tech, but... Why don't we tell our subjects, who are all loyal, very loyal here, in fact, uh, why don't you divert some trade to me then, sir? Um, to be... Supportive? Depends, what kind of supply do we have? Yeah, it's, it's good, these guys could attach to me pretty easily, yeah, everyone be supportive. I'm gonna attach to this army, sirs. I have no manpower, so... Still probably are better off holding on to that infantry, so long as our force limit doesn't go down. But he's not going to do much. Although, he actually does provide some value. I can I can use him to, uh... You know, occupy and besiege a province, even though he's got zero troops in him. He's still capable of doing that. Alright, so, 
We got a guy popping down here, Greater Noble Levy, will be fielded on the 28th of November. Perfect. Let's go kill that. Let's make sure that it does come out. If we kill it, then that'll affect Portugal as well. We'll come out uh, two days after. But sometimes it does things. It says it'll be fielded on the 28th, but I think they actually field on the 29th. It's the 28th right now, and they're not out yet. They field on the... What? Now it's switched over to a lesser noble levy? Okay, that's kind of weird. Well, we're already here. Let's go ahead and finish our month and get the uh, outnumbered garrison modifier. Did I lose a ship? I didn't lose a ship, right? Pretty sure I, I had seven before, didn't I? There's no way that one ship killed my ship. Couldn't have done it. Really? I have way more men, and we didn't outnumber it? I find that to be very surprising. I'm still going to keep the army together, but we're not going to sit on that province then. No, my subjects are stupid and they didn't actually come down here. Get the hell out of here. I don't want to suffer any attrition with the majority of the army yet. We're so, so close to not being able to handle it. Fez has rivaled Portugal. It's a shame you had that core from me. We are freaking losing ships against this one freaking light ship. You're kidding me. We are losing ships. Full size 19, 21 cannons. No leader. Full size 7, 8. I mean, yeah, it's got a lot more hull size, but... Jesus, it's at 99% strength! How on earth is it able to sink ships without actually losing any... taking any damage? How, how have they changed naval combat? What the hell? That one light ship is... like... it's freaking invulnerable. Or is there something that he has from his ideas? The morale of armies, yikes. That's kind of scary. Um, he went trade ideas. We have full trade ideas, so we're way ahead of him on that. Group relations with Fez? No. Claim our province of... Sota something or other. Sotavio. We're at war with this guy right now, I can't do that. On the other hand, I could do that in the next... I could do that after this war. He doesn't kick me out. Well, that's... that's... I'm very surprised. It's not like it was a heavy. Because we have no manpower and... We suffered 4% attrition here. 3%. We actually lost 5 men, which means we can't complete the siege even though it's only 3 days away. Cool. Nice. Well, you dummies should have been down here earlier. You shouldn't have shouldn't have done this. You should have come down to me right away instead of trying to fight him. You know what it might be? Maybe the reason why we didn't get the outnumbered garrison is because... They told me that the calculation is done on the end of the month, but February is 28 days. So maybe it's actually calculated on the 27th. So that no matter what, it always happens before the end of the month. I feel like this army is large enough to get an outnumbered garrison advantage. Not the, not the maybe the level 2 version of it. Let's see. 26th, 27th, 28th, no. Nope. 
No, there it is. It did, it did calculate on the, the very last day of the month. I guess maybe somehow they've they've figured out what the last day of the month is. You can attach to either of these two armies, sirs. Just pick one. I don't care which. Your ass is over here and attached to me. You're gonna lose your level one fort. You guys are gonna lose some land. Is there a way for me to check and see what his loot policy is? Let's see. My loot policy was. I actually got a lot of money from that one province. I don't know that he knows that his ship is that much stronger. It's it's five on one. Maybe maybe it was only out there. No, 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 no. He's definitely coming for it. Oh, man, that is just amazing. Amazing to me that they're that strong. Damn thing is nigh un untouchable. The Maria the First. It's a crayer. Is it like a... Can't even see what the tech would be yet, really? Obviously, we just need to retreat from this again. That ship is, like, brutally strong. Hey, some of your provinces lack cores. It looks like, finally, Tanja has had its communication efficiency calculated. Or not. Some of these provinces lack cores and are currently not in the process of being cored. Wait, has this modifier just been up there this whole time and I didn't notice it? I thought that finally did recalculate. Damn. I feel bad that my freaking subject has 100% autonomy in his only province. That just seems bad. Maybe when I click the button it calculates it for everybody in the whole world, not just, not just me. Negative war score. He controls Alto on Alentejo. Alamanca being occupied is worth six. Like, he's doing a good job knocking these things down. 13 development. Oh, right, right. I wanted to check and see... Maybe if there was a way that I could calculate... Or see what his... His looting policy is. But to do that, I have to remember what the damn modifiers were, and I don't. Maybe it was a thing in here? Yes, so I lose Discipline, I lose Siege Ability, and the other way was to lose Morale. I can't check his Morale unless we're in combat, but I could, I could check his Siege Ability. Portuguese Siege Ability 6.3. I'd have to calculate out, like, what's his Prestige, and like, what's what's the other things that are giving him Siege Ability, and I could, I could probably figure out his Loot Policy. I don't know why it's going to be so damn complicated, but... Okay, so in six days we have a siege tick. I'm gonna try to poke out and see if uh, we can do something here. Might just be able to come and pick me off, I'm not sure. We'll arrive on the 24th. At least I was able to make him block break his blockade for a moment, but... No, I, I would have to be... I'd have to time it absolutely perfectly to get the blockade in place. How many days does it take me to get out there? It's showing June the 3rd, which is two days, but it's actually lying. It's th So it's going to be three days. So that means that... In... when this is four... Hmm, it actually didn't lie. And this time he's not trying to come get me. Hmm. Guess that's good. A monopoly company has been formed. Gain diplo points, provincial trade power, or ducats. So provincial trade power for ten years and diplo points. Normally, 
In a vanilla game, Diplo points would be the obvious decision. In this case, though, especially with Diplomatic Idea Group and being behind time on Diplotech, it's even more so appealing. But money! Yeah, we'll take the Diplotech. Diplo points. Or greater noble levies. They're gonna die as quickly as all the other men in my country. Oh, I feel bad. Where on earth is your port? Do you not have a port? Lack of natural harbor. Oh really? Does that mean that they're... If you have a lack of a natural harbor, you straight up don't have a port. Huh. But I have one here. This port provides a safe haven for ships. Lack of natural harbor. Hmm. I mean, there's very clearly no blockadable indicator here, but I'm confused now. Looks like I don't need to blockade it. Wait. Why did it go down? No, it does. It does. There's a port. You lion game? Damn, we just got a supply storage. We probably could have gotten something much better. Well, this is good. We're doing a siege race against someone with inferior tech. He's only got one stack to my two stacks. And that means that we're going to end up taking a lot more land from him. Do need to get up there on that war goal, though, soon. some interesting music. This province is going to be worth a fair bit. It's got level 2 fort. Hey, that's what marchers are for, right? They're going to they're going to take the brunt of the damage so that I don't have to. So level 2 proper fort. If I go here, then this province will unoccupy this thing again. Be behind a zero stack to hold it. Just keep on shift consolidating, try to avoid as much attrition as possible. Ah, scary! Okay, uh, Yusuf has tragically died. Which cost me stab? What? Oh, he died? He was leading a siege? Shit. Heir to the throne, heir to the throne, heir to the throne. Heir to the throne. Two, two heirs to the throne. A 526 and a 623. And the 526 is what we see. So why do we get two pop-ups? That stab hit is not good. We're at 37.47 stab points, which means I think we're going to sit at negative stab for a while, which means Pheasant's War. I'll progress toward it once we get to peace. Consider using a policy to increase stability gain. Hey, they actually have, they updated the tooltip. Cool. So even though we're at war, we do have progress towards the Peasants' War right now. It takes 17 years to fire, but... In those 17 years, we'll definitely end up getting the... Getting the stability point back, I think. Other bad things could happen, though, while we are at, at negative stab. Alright, so... I lost some stab, but... We ended up getting a much, much, much better air. This guy's got... What was that? 6, 13, 13 monarch points up from like 9. And he's kind of weak in Diplo skill, but it's okay. So that just means we stay focused on Dip. And our air is a free thinker. A weak claim. We cannot present our heir to the court. I 
think, unless he is of age. And he's... No, he's 19. Do we have to be at peace? We'll see. Alright, we're working on the war goal. He did just take that out of the province up there. We're technically losing the war. But it seems like he's suffering just as much attrition as we are. Granted, he didn't lose his heir, but... Aquitaine cedes three provinces to France, and they return a corps to Armagné. France lost their claim on Rorg. Okay. Fair enough. State war contribution. Land force limit and greater nobles contribute 1.5 ducats. Nice of them. Okay, cool. So now we don't have to worry about this, and if he does come at me, I could just pile on. Did he knock down some of the forts? This one's only level 1 now. I could go up there and relieve that pretty easily. He's coming for this army. Why can I not shift consolidate these these guys? Oh, they're already fully shift consolidated. <laughs> I don't want to lose control of these two. They're not worth a lot of development. I guess I don't really care if we lose them. How much war score are they actually worth? Looking at uh, Valle and Alente Central. So 0.5 and 3.4. That's not much. See if I can convince them to go help out the siege here so I can get rid of this. All well, my men here. Got the garrison outnumbered. I think we just end up getting the war goal and then we are good. I don't think that he has enough war score from those two occupations up north. Most of it's probably coming from having the war goal right now. Seven. The two battles were bad. Actually, he has 12 war score on those. Yeah, we'll see. We might have to fight him. It's woods. No defensive bonus in woods, though. Perhaps we finish the siege. God damn. So many freaking disease outbreaks. Wait on that, uh, wait on that <laughs> January end stick. Minimal loot burden has affected us. That's not a good thing. Ugh. No, we just lost combat modifiers right as we need to fight. <sighs> There's a lot of money in the... Those gents. Just to make sure nothing silly happens, I'm gonna make sure that these guys are not attached. This is going to be brutal. I'm going to take a break here. Next episode, we're going to fight Portugal's army. Hope that we win. He's still, we still have a tech advantage. My subjects are on tech 8 and 8. We shall see. See you guys in the next episode.